So at this point in time, we have about five inches of snow left on the ground. Today is February 18th. I made a mistake. I thought today was my dog's fifth birthday, but it's actually tomorrow. And you're all confused, especially if for whatever reason this video decides to get recommended to tons of people. Today, we're going to be doing an intro to this channel. It's long overdue. There's been a lot of changes that's happened ever since I made the previous one. So let's get into it. So you may be wondering, do you show your face in the content that you produce? And I'm like, yeah, sometimes I'll show you. Yeah, sometimes I do it. I, I, I don't do it too often. I do it to like sort of implement it into a video form, but that's not really the point of my video creation. I'm gonna show you what it is. Here, right over here. You see these chickens right here? They are out. They are not the big fans of the snow. If you saw my short that got almost 8,000 views the other day, these chickens right here did not like the snow at all. Like, these are my adult chickens. Like These chickens are like going to be four in like a month and two days. So keep in mind, these chickens are just getting older and older. Maybe not everyone. Like, yeah, we celebrated some of these chickens' third birthday. Um, what's your name? Fluffball. You will be turning two years old um, late summer, like early August. Well, that's more like midsummer, but I don't care. Kit Kat along with Fluffball. If we still had those two other Black Copper Marin roosters, they would also be turning uh, two years old, except instead of in... Um, Early August would be closer to late August. These are the rest of my chickens. We have Rogue, Cute, Loudmouth, and Summer. Loudmouth, Cute, and Summer are part of the originals. There's one other original chicken. I'll see if I can find Abs. She's a bit more self-contained because she's the one who has to lead this flock in the right direction. There's my imbecile rooster, Falcon. And, um... If, if you haven't seen some of my videos, you might not know that I have created a small show called My Chickens. And it's like, just my chickens doing random human events. I portray Falcon as someone who has Big Macs very often for a very specific region, reason. That's pretty much all he would do. He, he doesn't really do a lot in this flock, so he's not really a, a useful rooster. He just sits there and does nothing. And you might be wondering, why don't you get rid of him? Well, don't worry, I ask that same question every single spring because when mating season comes around, he is way too aggressive on especially my older hens. So if you see that hoop coop right there, I may or may not have to put him in there this spring. Another thing that we do around here is also do a little bit of farming. Like we do some farming every now and then. We don't do a lot of it. I, I mean, obviously we live on one, but I don't really talk a whole lot about farming like yeah I do it like once or twice a week but not nearly as often as they talk about my chickens oh no no and in the and especially in the spring just every other video is a gardening video there's gonna be some weeks where I don't talk about chickens I'll only talk about gardening because it's an interest in mine that I take a high liking to along with chickens these are my younger more adolescent chickens so there are my so these are my baby chickens these guys, these smaller ones, were born on August 23rd. These guys back there, the ones that are a lot bigger, look more mature, were born on April 27th, 2023. So they're just coming up on a year old. They're like 10 months old, 9 months old, 10 months old. My favorite chicken in this flock has, all in all, got to be Puff. I'll see if I can find her. Also this, Cinnamon Queen, right there. You see that white chicken down there? That's Puff. Cinnamon Queen chicken right there, very friendly. Get yourself some of these chickens. If you want to raise chickens, you can click the subscribe. And I'll talk about chickens, specifically chicken breeds. It's probably my most discussed topic about chickens. Because of, quite simply, I just, I just can't stop talking about these chickens. You'll see videos where I'm complimenting chicken breeds, like giving them constructive criticism, all that whatnot. Another thing we do around here is pray for snow. Yeah, 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 I hear you like, why do you pray for snow? Don't you, aren't you the same person that wants it to be spring? Okay, 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 we can all admit that yeah, I do want it to be spring sometimes, but 
here's my hopes and dreams for the rest of this winter. If you don't know, I am from northwestern Connecticut. Probably the most irrelevant region in the entire U.S. Yeah. Bet you, have, bet you haven't ever heard of a single town here. Name one town. Name one town in Litchfield County, Connecticut. I doubt you could. Name one town in Connecticut. I doubt you could do that either. Because no one cares. No one cares about our state, man. We don't have a lot to do. Except for the chickens, man. They make the state interesting. But the winters are another big thing here. It actually looks kind of nice here in the winters. And the fall, not so much the spring. Ask what I want for the rest of this winter, man. Come on. What? Two more snowstorms. I want one more, like, seven or eight inch snowstorm by, like, the end of the month. So that way we can get our average up for February. We had an above average January, believe it or not. But then February came around. First half was very below average. Then we got 14 inches of snow. And now we're down to like five to eight. And another thing I would really like, you know, it's for then in March to have one final goodbye to snow. Just one final goodbye. And by one final goodbye, I mean like two feet of snow, man. One, one final goodbye, man. You know, we gotta say goodbye to a snow in a nice way. And then after that, please, don't ever snow again. Man, I get really, really enraged when it snows in April. Like, for the love of God, that's supposed to be the month where the leaves begin coming onto the trees. Not where you still can get those isolated snow showers that'll occasionally bring you seven inches. 2020 and 2021, we had four inches in 2021, eight inches in 2020. It was just a rough April, so hopefully by the end of the spring, early summer, we get all of our goals accomplished. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like and subscribe. Half of it was just me ranting about what I want for the rest of this winter. The other half was just me introducing you to what all goes on over here, so 